Hey guys, how are we going? Welcome back to another video. We are back in Westland Survival. How are you doing guys? Hope you all are well. Okay, so um, I want to get down to the south today because I am still upgrading the workstations as we speak. But a couple of things that I've noticed and we are going to be in for some further updates that's going to unlock further features into the game. What type of features they're going to do with um, the next tier of resources. So I did touch on to this in the last video as well, but I want to further elaborate because now I've had a couple of the workstations upgraded and I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of an update and just to show you exactly where it's all at. So um, I jumped into here, I believe in the previous video and showed you that I upgraded the leather dryer, which exposed the strong leather and the perfect hide and then you've got the hemp rope with hemp and then you've got the durable leather belt and then I think I went across over here and I showed you guys that you can get hemp via well sorry hemp cloth via hemp itself and then also the fabric roll which is the hemp variety so next tier of um, resources hopefully coming soon I'm not too sure when to be honest with you because the guy the developers have only just updated to um, ash planks granite and um, which was the height I'm trying to think of uh, sorry linen was also there and always keep forgetting this one here um, the fine height there we go that's what I wanted to sort of uh, um, express but anyway um, I've just started on this guy here, so I want to upgrade my gun's workbench. You may have noticed that I've actually got three Colts available, and I'll explain why, um, what I've done with that in a moment. But if we go ahead and check here, I will have access to make the, uh, the best musket, fast load shotgun, and also the Colt. No, I'm not going to fast track that. I'm going to let it run its course. Yes, it's going to take four days, but it is what it is. And what have I done over here? is I've actually upgraded my uh, foundry and now I can on the fly make steel ingots without a problem so uh, we'll need a certain amount of materials to actually make steel so it will become quite expensive to make so yes um, as it's going to be a pain it will be needed and required soon enough um, what, probably what I should have done possibly earlier is I probably should have went ahead and actually upgraded this because this takes uh, three days instead of the four and that would have given me exposure to the rivets and the steel all that sort of stuff but I think I actually have I actually have some in my inventory I think um, I know I have a, a bit of steel in here somewhere so you've got the steel plate uh, ingots here, but I don't think I have any rivets, which is going to be a pain, but oh no, I've got some rivets, but not a lot, but also need them, I need that next upgrade to uh, craft the steel rivets, but that's not going to be too much of a problem. What I really want to focus on is, um, I really want to focus on just getting more materials, and that way once uh, these workstations have upgraded, then I've got enough resources to jump into the next workstation and so on and so forth. Um, it is going to take time, so I probably would go um, this next. That'll probably be my next one. Reason why that I wanted to get this is so I can freely manufacture um, the Colts without having to buy myself, or oh, sorry, craft up any of the repair kits. And that's what I did with the with my broken Colts that I had. So. I pretty much had um, a number of colts that were worn down, broken, ready to break, but I saved them and I used the repair kit on them uh, through here and that's why I've got three uh, fresh colts. So that's the reason why I've done that and I would suggest that you guys do the same thing too. That would be a really good way for you guys to manage your um, expenses. Um, and if you want to sort of upgrade other workstations, attention those, or if you want to upgrade, say the work, uh, sorry, the gun workstation that I've just done, at least this way, there's a way around that you can retain certain um, weapons and armor, whatever it might be really at the end of the day. Um, but as you can see, I do have accessibility to craft on steel items as well. So I've done that and the advanced repair kit, as I just mentioned. 
Um, this will take quite a long time, just recapping five days, um, a, a real pain. But also with the foundry, as you may have noticed as well, for some eagle eye viewers, we have the weapon alloy ingot and the nickel ore. Okay, so that's going to be the next tier of uh, materials that we'll have to find. And actually, I really want to come back here because you guys would have seen it beforehand as we're sort of going through here. Um, look what we've got over here. So, if we get the ability to upgrade to level 5 workstation, alloy is the next um, tier. So, we're going to have better axes, pickaxes, better tools, and then the experts repair kit. Now, if you if you remember in the previous video, I'll recap it here, but you do need the experts repair kit to repair things like uh, some of the shotguns that we've got as well, and the higher tier uh, weapons, so like Confederate Sabre is one that comes to mind, um, but also these guys here, so the Henry 44 is what you'll need to repair and also the uh, bayonet knife i believe is the next thing that you need to um, grab yes you do so as we can't sort of um, craft those at the minute now i would suspect and guess if we upgrade the um if i could actually get to this workstation over here uh, so the forge if we upgrade here, then we get accessibility to Sabre and Machete, but beyond that, it'll give us the preview of what's next to come, and I'll probably think it's going to be things like the Bayonet, possibly Confederate Sabre, I would think. And it doesn't take too much to upgrade either, So, that, and it's only going to take a day, so I might actually uh, uh, do that in between the larger um, upgrade paths as well. But, with all that out of the way, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a quick update and just let you know exactly where I've been up to, uh, what I have been doing and all that sort of stuff. So now that I've got some um, uh, a good pathway for some uh, to use OK weapons like the Colt, I think I should be OK in uh, racing down to the... Actually, I'm going to jump back in because um, I want to make sure that I've got oats for my horse. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, so let's go ahead and double check that. But yeah, how have you guys been enjoying the update? I want you to let me know in the comment section uh, down below. And yeah, just let me know what you guys have been doing. In the previous video, actually a couple of people have reached out to me and we're discussing a few of the things that they've been doing as well. And yeah, I mean, uh, one person in particular had uh, apparently has upgraded pretty much the rest of their workstations as well and they have uh, pretty much all steel on board and they can see everything else quick little um uh update on that he did upgrade the workstation for the guns so ahead of myself and it looks like we're going to get some good weapons coming back into the game via that so i think it was the henry 44 that's going to be accessible uh the winchester Yes, you heard that correctly, Winchester and the Schofield. Yes, so um, all three of those good weapons. I'm not too sure about the Henry, but I'm pretty I'm sure the Winchester and the Schofield um, are back in game, but it's going to be via that upgrade path through the workstation. So we don't know how long that's going to be or how long that's going to take when that does become apparent because I look at it on a few things as well. They've only just released this update that's given us, you know, ash, granite, and everything else in between. But the other problem that I see is how how else are they, are they going to incorporate the other um, materials when they do become made available in game? So um, with that, uh, I have no idea right now. But what I'm thinking is that they're going to have to open up other areas of the map and more areas and zones for us to uh, go ahead and visit. And that should, in theory, give us um, accessibility to the other materials. So that's what I'm thinking um, initially. And I said this before in previous videos when before, you know, ash and granite were made available. Um, that was going to be, you know, that's what I, I would have thought. But they managed to incorporate it in the pre-existing zones. Um, even though that they sort of opened up a couple of the um, 
uh, opened up a couple of new zones as well. I think they're going to be reserved for um, different updates as well in the game. Uh, that's just my opinion on the matter. Um, I'm not too sure what you guys think about that either, but um, again, let me know in the comments because, again, this is just all speculation right now and we're just sort of, you know, uh, finding our way, you know, through the game. And it's great that the developers are constantly, you know, at it and upgrading, um, you know, features in the game, giving us new, um, you know, things to play with, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, really happy on that front there. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying that as well. Um, let's just quickly go over here. Yes, I want to take down these piasses. Take you out nice and easily because I need your hide, please. Okay, let's just get a bit of distance. Whoop. Okay, I'm glad that the Colt is a fast firing pistol. It does do quite well. Oops. As long as you let the animation go through, you'll be able to take them out quite easily. Anyway, um, yeah, so upgrade path. So again, like I said, who knows when we'll um, get such updates, things like that. Couldn't possibly tell you, even if I wanted to, I absolutely have no idea. Actually, I'll just do that for now. And I may use the rest of that. Perfect, I think I overdid it, but <laughs> that doesn't matter. Uh, still hunting shale, um, I haven't had a chance to sort of keep progressing and um, upgrading uh, my base so far, but I will be, don't worry, that's that's still happening. Uh, it's just that I haven't had the chance to do it, unfortunately, but it is what it is. But anyway, what do you think, guys, so far, what we've um, uncovered and exposed? Um, are you guys excited about the next... Uh, tier of materials. I mean, I am 100% always up for new updates and features added into not only this game, but any game for that matter. Um, but otherwise, yeah, guys, this is pretty much where we're at with things. So right now, like I said, you would probably want to use this time to uh, recover uh, material as you're sort of waiting for workstations to pretty much uh, do their thing and that way you're ready for the next set and whatever that might be so again this is just my standard run I'm just sort of uh, just pretty much belting through this actually without any problems to be honest with you uh, where am I at now at the moment so there's gonna be five more ash logs for me to find and before we can move on to the next zone to get some granite and I probably want to start getting some uh, a chroma as well. That might be a good thing to do. Get a few guys onto me. And, all right, perfect. Let's just loot you. And yes, okay, cool. So I'm not too interested in getting what's inside um, the chests or anything like that. I'm, like I said, I'm sticking to a rule and my rule is at the moment is just grabbing necessary items that I feel that I need. So things like the tender meat as you can see and um, yeah, just just my standard material. Let's just take you out. Yep. And, yep, yep. Okay. So this should be a three ash log. Oh no. And there should be one more floating about, and that should be a two, uh, two log. But so far, I haven't found him. And sometimes it actually gets a little bit annoying when you can't actually find what you're after as well. So, especially when you're on the last tree, I guess, you don't really come across it right away, and you sort of do have to sort of, you know, run around and sort of proactively try to find it so it sort of doesn't you know, fall into your lap kind of thing uh, which is quite annoying you know you just want to sort of duck in duck out and uh, move on to the next zone kind of thing because obviously you just want to sort of just smash it out and you don't want to um, oh, hey what do you do what do you want here Jericho um, uh, you know what 
I'll just take that for now. Once everything's sort of, um, do I want to take that? I don't think I need to take that, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> that there and keep that all consistent for now. Um, sorry, just lost my train of thought. Actually, I really lost my train of thought. I can't even remember what I was sort of talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, so actually, yeah, the, um, the whole trying to find certain uh, things while you're in zone. You just want to sort of run in, run out. That's the way I want to do it. R rapid fire, that's basically where it's at. Right now, I'm not having any sort of uh, success. And the reason why that I really want to find all the necessary um, available resources while in zone, because it, it sort of adds up correctly. Um, so you get it to a point and there's no, um, you know, um, uh, uh, odds or anything like that. So it's all even, basically. And you know exactly where you stand and you don't have to worry about, you know, um, any sort of missed uh, opportunities or anything like that. But as I'm sort of trying to find uh, said last tree, because yeah, was it? Um, yeah, not overthinking it. I do need it. Well, I want it. But um, I can't seem to find it. Which is not good. And right now I'm just blasting my way through and I don't seem to find because usually like I said you should be able to find 15 uh, ash logs without a problem so it's here I'm just not looking in the right area so usually at this point I just pretty much sort of zigzag my way across the map that way I sort of cover everything while I'm here I may as well grab the linen and then what I do from here is I just sort of go straight down and then that way I can see on the mini map as you guys can see here um, I pretty much cover the whole map and zone and there's no um, there's nothing that I'm missing. Ah, oh, it's right here. <laughs> there you go, see? The oak tree pretty much hid the facts, so you couldn't really find anything there, which is a real pain. Alrighty, so let's jump into the next zone. And I'm just gonna sort of ride over. some other materials just before I do that I just want to see the durability of the steel axe sorry steel axe and pickaxe that's what I want to check out next all right let's take a look so not bad actually so definitely worth upgrading your weapons or sorry your uh, tools to, um, to steel 100% so that's gonna give you a lot of durability a lot of durability because you'll be able to do a lot of runs so again like I said I just sort of do the, the zigzag motion here and just make sure that I keep all eyes around everything and as you will have seen as well I just used just on half durability of my cult in the initial zone as well so keep that in mind guys so if you're going to use a cult like me, um, you might be able to get through two zones before it's ready to break, hang on to it, repair it, and then basically um, you'll be able to uh, recycle it and use it again. Once you get the, the workstations upgraded so you can make your own cults, then make the decision whether or not is it viable doing it via repair kits or do you want to do it via um, just simply crafting them up every time. I guess it comes down to resource availability as well because I mean if you've got a lot of resources available to you and there's um, no need to say make repair kits then obviously you don't make repair kits. You just 
keep making the colts as they are and then you just sort of take it from there or you know vice versa if you feel that you don't have enough materials ready for making uh, you know things like the colt there then you just use the repair kits and if you've got accessibility to you know, make the repair kits then yeah that'll be the way you want to do it Let's just grab what we came for here. Hey. So, finding most of the granite uh, deposits here as well. So again, this should be on a 15 uh, piece metric as well. We didn't have anything there. So let's just continue down. Out here. Yes, I do see the, the crumb right there. I will grab it soon. I just wanted to make sure that I'm on the right path and I don't sort of miss things as I'm going on as well. I think that's very, uh, very important as well. So as I sort of move down here, I'll just sort of come back this way. And yes, I am losing durability on my clothing here. So not a good thing at the moment, but uh, we'll have to make do with what we've got, of course. There we go. And chromite, chromite, chromite. I still don't think I'm, I'm pronouncing it right. Anyway, I think it's chromite. Anyway, I had this issue a couple of videos back. I think I could even pronounce it. I had a hard time doing so, but it is what it is. Okay. Okay, and let's just keep racing on here okay so I do see two more of the uh, granite deposits there so we'll get those in a sec just want to make sure that I've got everyone out of my uh, way here's some more and I think that might be it for the chromo because I don't think you get much in these zones here. So they're really slowing you down when it comes to getting, you know, things like the chromite here. Uh, granite, not a problem, to be honest with you. Not a problem with the granite. You know, generous servings. Uh, I'm not going to chase you, I can't be bothered. So my colt is nearly done as well, actually. <laughs> Time to switch that bad boy over. Get the fresh one out. Okay, I actually thought I killed the um the bear there, but I did not. Alright, and let's grab these. Okay, well, you're really gonna be on your toes with these zones as well, because these enemies here they just come out anywhere at any time you're really not you know if you're not prepared you're you're gonna get overwhelmed you start running and if you sort of snuck your way in you know via sneaking around things like that and then all of a sudden you just make that split se uh, second um, you know uh, I can't even anyway I can't even talk at the moment but if you make the wrong decision Quick, uh, quick seconds decision. <laughs> That's what I'm sort of trying to explain. Um, and you start running. You are going to run into a bit of trouble. I can assure you of that. But I think I've done everything here that I've wanted to achieve today. So <clears throat> basically, from here, I'll just start repeating. I go back to the uh, go back to the other zone there. Start re uh, collecting. Uh, the ash and I'll get the, uh, the linen while I'm at it and I'll just annoy some of the Hey, what are you doing? Stay down. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I just start annoying um, everyone back in that zone again, get all the piastres and grab the, uh, the hide. But right now I'll probably have to go get some. Um, uh, some more armor which I do have in my inventory so I'll probably end up using that but have a look at this not too bad to be honest with you so steel is worth it better than your iron I guess uh, especially when you're cutting down hey, what's this? 
yeah, don't want to die. That's not, not what I want to do. Uh, so yeah, pretty much, um, yeah, I'm pretty much a fan of the steel items. Uh, so good going developers. Alloy is just going to be that next level better. And it's funny that I think about that now is that with Alloy, it's probably going to only be um, used for certain tools or certain applications. I'm not sure. It might be um, available for everything or you can only use Alloy to cut down certain you know, materials. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking. Or it's got to be steel or higher. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, um, that's it guys. I'm going to stop talking and rambling here, but appreciate you guys stopping by as always, checking out the video. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, along with that notification bell. Alright guys, take it easy. I'll catch you next time.